Now, Gary Lineker has claimed that he was partly involved in drawing up new BBC social media guidelines, which came into force last year. The Match of the Day presenter has been criticised a number of times for expressing political views in his Twitter comments. But Lineker has described the impartiality round with the BBC as a lover's tiff. Well, join me now to discuss this, the former executive editor of the News of the World, Neil Wallace. Neil, here we go again. Lineker is writing the rules. He's marking his own homework at the BBC. He's loving it, isn't he? He's really, really loving rubbing the nose of the BBC in what he's doing. He is simply taking it as empowering him. He clearly believes he is uh, untouchable. He can do what he likes, say what he likes. Um, the idea of him, uh, as you say, uh, claiming to have helped write the rules. And the footage you're just showing now, you look at him, he's so pleased with himself. Such an arrogant man. I do find it extraordinary that they put up with this. But it shows the lack of grip that the BBC have. It shows the lack of sort of sense of being in touch with how people are that they allow him to get away with this. And, you know, don't forget, he's taking 1.35, I think it is, million pounds out of licence fee payers' money. That's, you know, your and my money. And he, he's just riding roughshod. And I find it staggering. Well, Neil, um, he's not only writing the law, that basically puts him above the law. This latest revelation, Neil, it just says that Lineker is unsackable. He can say whatever he wants with impunity and damn the consequences. That's the craziness about it, isn't it? He has made himself uh, unsackable out of this, or rather, the BBC have made him unsackable. The more they've caved in, the more difficult it is to call him into line. And you see that far from having learned his lessons, he has continued to do what he likes on Twitter. He has retweet. He has liked a Labour MP's anti-Semitic tweets. He um, uh, liked and um, put forward a tweet. Admittedly, he he later uh, removed it that said how the Israeli football team was being banned. And uh, you know, th this this seems to me what you can't get away from here that. This is, there is quite a common touch in this. And that's something to do with anti Semitism. And I, I think the BBC, who really have a problem with this anyway, really need to get a grip on it. And frankly, they should sack Lineker. Yeah, Neil Wallace, um, I think many, many people listening will agree with this. Lineker is the law. He's above the law. He's unsackable. I'm afraid I think it's going to get much, much worse. Thank you for joining us, Neil Wallace.